the Sports Vote Campaign Podcast. Invest in sports. Hello and welcome back. This is the Sports Vote Campaign Update Podcast for Sunday, April 10, 2022. 3,085 cities in 133 nations. Season 4, Episode 13. So, again, always look to the show notes for links to the most up-to-date resources and links to other uh, important materials. So, gambling produces, all right, it produces pain and loss and along with other damages to society. I am no longer affiliated with any political party. I canceled my voter registration. I have no confidence in the system. So there's a map you can click on and um, outline item number three, which shows the most recent data poll from a few days ago of ASM trader accounts, their IP addresses mapped out, 133 nations in 3,085 cities. Regarding the Ukraine invasion, I think that uh, the Donbass and a little piece of the Ukraine, no NATO expansion, that's probably what it's going to take to settle this war, which hopefully happens sooner rather than later. So in the midst of all of this uh, turmoil, it's important that our former president let everybody know that uh, he got a hold in one. I'm just speechless over this man's behavior and how anyone can see this as uh, decent, normal, respectable. It's just insane. The uh, 2008 uh, property implosion, the sand states bubble, is uh, where it started. Starting to see this all over again. Um, It's a repeat. They can try to talk it down. The real estate uh, hypesters can try to talk it down, but I don't see that happening. Like I said in a prior podcast, all the inputs are going the wrong direction. Number seven in the outline is the most recent um, mediation update from the SEC case. Nothing really to say other than it's in process and uh, is progressing. You can see that if you want to click the link number seven, the filing by the SEC, not by us on the matter. The quarterly dividends for 2022 were paid on the pilot market. Q1 2022, 168987 and 91 cents, and then on the learning market, uh, two hundred seventy-eight thousand five hundred seventy-two and fifty-eight cents. Number ten, the uh, companion product to the Hollywood Sports Bible is um, the New Jerusalem News, which is parked on HolyBibleNews.com. Uh, if you want to keep an eye on that, it's going to be a while before you see much there. But that's um, the next phase of my life uh, post transition to Alper. I'd like to also add that in the list of things um, that this world promotes as what you should be doing is um, making lots and lots of money. Um, I made millions of dollars before ASM was ever in my life. Uh, In fact, I had my first million dollar business in my early 20s. And I was the first funder of the ASM project before anybody else came along. So once again... um, Mattress Mac comes up in the news as a uh, gambling success story. (laughs) I mean, um, promoting gambling addiction, it's just amazing. Uh, Humanity learns nothing. Is this really what we want a world full of? It's not legal in Texas, so I'd like to say that uh, if he placed that bet from Texas, he broke the 1961 Wire Act, among other laws. If he didn't place it from Texas and he came to Louisiana then uh or went across the border to louisiana then uh that's really not a very good statement either so this world is so full of hypocrites it's absolutely astounding it's like putting a drunk as your main character in a super bowl commercial and as far as supporting his business i mean is buying betting material to fund someone who has a multi-million dollar gambling addiction is that a is that a is that a positive spin am i missing something here I would wonder how much I was paying for those mattresses and whatever. It's just, this is utter foolishness, folks. Indefensible, utter foolishness. 
So one of the first things that um, Zach Ward, Ace, and I, when we had a conversation about ASM, he would always talk about sports as the last pure passion. I didn't give that a lot of thought at the time as to what that meant. Um, but as time has gone on, I really am starting to understand it. You know, in the entertainment industry, there's always the push and pull between the art side and the commercial side. That's why you see, you know, these sequences of like uh, X Five, you know, X Men, all these serials, right? Because their risk is much lower when you can just tag on to an existing product that's proven in the marketplace. So it's always the battle between the artist trying to come up with something new, which is risky, right? Because maybe nobody goes to watch it versus going with what works. Well, um, sports is very quickly deteriorating in the face of gambling. I'll get to that further down with the um, Tiger Woods story. But Zach's talk about sports being the last pure passion is making more sense all the time. But as it gets more and more polluted with the perverse incentives of gambling, which is exactly what it is, it, it creates perverse incentives, then it's going to get lost. And I, I've had more than one person say to me that um, we're lose, you know, this is going to destroy sports. Um, this promotion of gambling is going to destroy it. It's going to destroy the purity of it. So anyway, just bringing that back up again. Um, most recent filing on the uh, Ninth Circuit case against lying Leon and his reprobate lawyers. And, um, you know, this is never going to end, just uh, just so you know. Um, it's, it's never going to end. If you want to see what kind of determination I have, um, I'd put myself up against Donald Trump any day as far as determination, except I'm not lying about things. Here's the core, folks, indisputable of this. This is not being a sore loser. I was flat denied my day in court, and not only did I, not only did I get denied uh, the ability to answer the amend, the amended complaint because I was moving to Texas to put ASM online or try to get it online the first time before the property crash. I got the first, uh, the original complaint, which we answered from Costa Rica, and then I did not. I, I still never did ever get the amended complaint. Therefore, the default move to default and then the aggressive preventing of me answering even though I was there with the lawyer, um, not even allowing being allowed to speak when I was on the phone uh, with the lawyer arguing in the verbal portion, which, by the way, the pending um, decision by the court was to allow me to answer and then the theatrics that the lawyer pulled in the court made made it change which is disgraceful, absolutely disgraceful. Listen, that's never going to stand. It's I, I'm not going to let it go. So it's never, ever, ever going to end. I'm not going to accept that outcome, okay? I'm not going to accept that outcome. That is absolutely fundamental to justice and the legal system is that you allow both sides to present their issue or present their case, and that just simply did not happen here. And... You can try to weasel word and and um, you know talk try to talk all kinds of crazy points around this, but the simple fact is that is what happened, and it's in the record. It's in my pleadings. It's in the record. It's in the files. There's no way to get out of it. It's there. Okay, that is what happened. So there is not ever going to be any successful end for him on this, because that is simply a fundamental violation of my constitutional rights, not to mention everything else. So, <clears throat> that being said, keep lying and writing checks, reprobate. You will never, and I mean never, collect a cent on this claim. In fact, the longer it goes on, the bigger hole you're going to dig yourself. At some point, I may decide to turn this around. You know, I haven't done that yet. I haven't become the aggressor, but I can and I can do it without a lawyer. I can turn your life upside down in a weekend with $5 in stamps, paper, and envelopes. I've destroyed somebody like this before. I know how to do it, and I'll do it again if that's what it takes. So be warned. One weekend, $5 in stamps, paper, and envelopes, and you won't be able to undo my letter writing. It's just a letter writing campaign, but a very, very 
strategic one. It'll cost you your job and probably a few other things. If you ever try to attach anything belonging to me, you'll be dealing with attorneys from the United States government, the SBA, because they have the UCC-1 against my assets for the next 30 years. So that's basically the rest of your life. Your hate will do you in just like somebody else who passed away recently. You want money? Is that what you want? Then you acknowledge my gift of corporate stock, which you lied about in the pleadings over and over again, and get on side. Anything short of that, and you're going to have nothing but continued losses. Nothing but continued losses. Know it 100%. And who's the one hiding again? You have never appeared one time before any court anywhere. You've always used lying scoundrel scumbag lawyers, and your current address with the courts is false. It's false. It's not the right address. Any mail sent there is returned undeliverable with no forwarding address. But I know where you work, so if I want to serve you with something, I can find you anytime I want. You're a, di- you're a lying, dirtball hypocrite destined for the lake of fire. You'd better repent or you're going to perish, just like somebody else. So, Tiger Woods is being, um, the sports books are rooting against him at the Masters. This is just the beginning of the corruption. I mean, actually, let me put it this way. This is the headline of the corruption that gambling causes. This stuff is already happening. You, you can be sure it is happening throughout sports. This is just the headline. So I'd like to point out that uh, the Leon matter is irrelevant to ASM's progress. The 2014 restart proves that. Um, it that This matter predates that. It goes back to the late, uh, to around 2009, I think, 2010. So ASM was restarted in 2014. It never came up with anybody. Um, so it's not going it, to, this is not the thing that needs to be fixed up to uh, move on. It's the SEC case that's holding us back, which is uh, what, what is the trigger to, for Apple to take over. Um, so do a legal search on DraftKings or any other sports book operation and count the number of lawsuits. Okay? Don't be hypocritical. Uh, nobody has ever taken any, now listen to this very carefully. In my entire life, nobody has ever taken anything from me by force. Through lawyers, through violence, through coercion, it has never happened. And it never will. No matter how many liars and scoundrels you throw at me, you will be defeated. You will get nothing. You will get nothing I don't hand you voluntarily. I promise you that. I promise you that. So, sports books are having a very hard time making money, exactly as I said. This is a barely profitable business under the best of circumstances. These things are not the issue with ASM, nor is the inherent corruption of gambling on sports and and it's in, in the public. So, it, all of the incentives are aligned in our model, whereas it creates very perverse incentives with gambling. So, all we want is trading to take place. That's it. We don't take sides. So... It's just about volume, and volume is really about exposure. You know, markets kind of self-perpetuate when you start publishing the numbers and you start giving quotes, you know, putting up tickers and that kind of stuff. It kind of feeds itself, and all we want is the trade volume. As the trade volume increases, the market will become more efficient. As the market becomes more efficient, uh, it will produce better prices. It, It will, you know, the spreads will narrow. It'll be harder and harder to profit in your trading, but that's how it should be as uh, as the market information spreads. But at the end of the day, and it also generates more and more money for the leagues and all of that. So it's a self-feeding dog, so to speak, but on the positive side, whereas the more you increase prevalence of gambling, the more corruption you're going to see in sports. And it's just, it's night and day. There's, <laughs> it's, it's light and darkness. It's good and evil. There's, that's really it, folks. And you know, I do see gambling as an absolute evil. It's, it's, it, it is an absolute evil, unequivocal. I'm never going to move on that point. It's never going to happen. It's destructive. It's nonproductive. It's, addicti- it's addictive. It's harmful. It's, it creates harms. That's all it does. And so, once again, 
in closing, uh, what we need to do is demonstrate one fundraise through creation of a new league or a, a new esports league or sports league or uh, the uh, funding of an existing one that we can publicize through known methods and techniques, things that we've done in the past and proven over and again we're more than capable of doing. And that's it. We're off to the races. And then what stands in the way of that is the SEC resolution. So uh, those two things. Resolve the SEC case, get back to the uh, securing of that first demonstration, and then uh, everything will, will fill in from there. So again, uh, see the show notes for updated resource links and anything that's uh, important or we feel is important. Thank you for your time and have a nice day. I'll speak with you again in two weeks. Bye now.